Let's go party. Stop. Barbie doesn't dance like that. Barbie's arms don't bend. The new ones do. When was the last time you played with a Barbie? A long time ago. I'm more into boys and fashion. <gasps> so is Barbie. You know, you are so cute. While I talk some sense into her, let's go to today's sponsors. I was thinking of changing my name to Barbie Sarantopoulos. You don't look like a Barbie. <gasps> my real friends want me to be a Barbie. <laughs> let's go to today's top story. Oh, I don't like her either. She's really oh, mean. <laughs> I'm talking. I know her outfit is just so last hundred years. What's that? You're hungry? Oh, well, well there's this, this uh, uh, There's this great place called the Shark Bite Cafe, and we have an open seat at our table. Uh, Barbie can sit on You that. know what? Open seat at our table. She did? I see you've joined us on the pink side. You got your very own Barbie doll. Yeah, she's a doctor. Barbie's not a doctor. She's a high-class fashion model. This one is a psychiatrist. Let me see that. Uh-huh, mm hmm Well, your Barbie told my Barbie to tell me to tell you that she doesn't want to be a psychiatrist. She wants to be a high-class fashion model. <sighs> you know what? I give up. I'm Ashley, and that's Barbie. <laughs> Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. And we can get you better clothes. You look so good in pink. The FCAT train is coming, everybody. The FCAT train is coming soon. Oh. Ashley, I'm right here and I'm not a train. No, not you, Cat. The FCAT train, not Cat. Cat, Cat. Mm. Okay, cat. so tell me more about this FCAT train. This year's theme for the FCAT is get on board the FCAT Express. Oh, I've heard about that. That's where the eighth graders who scored a 5.5 or a six on the FCAT writing assessment Get a field trip in a train to Winter Park for lunch. So get on the right tracks for the FCAT Express. Choo choo! Where are we? The Alify Rendezvous. I thought that alfalfa thingy was a party. No, it's Alify and they must not have seen our party planning show. Guess not. Alright, well I have this whole schedule thing. Seat rules, no cell phones, no iPods, no MP3s, and there's no air conditioning. This is just all too much. We'll never make it. Wait, yes we will. Nobody has to know we have them. We'll just sneak them in. No cell phones, no iPods, and no electronics. I don't like this lady. Me neither. She didn't think to take my backup phone. Now that you mention it. <laughs> oh, oh, what no. backup phone? Oh, no, wait, no. It, there is nothing in this paper that says that we have to wear some dresses. Oh, wait, it says it right here. Must wear proper pre-1840s attire. <sighs> well, we get changed. Why don't you go to today's sponsors? You know, Ashley, in these clothes, I feel like a true 1840 pioneer. Me too, but there's a lot of stuff to do, so we should get started. Alright, you don't touch that dial, we'll be right back after the 411. I'm hungry. Me too, I hope the food isn't as old as the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew these people put so much time and dedication into their lives? And they didn't even have cell phones. <laughs> I mean, they did everything. They made their homes, they cooked their food all by themselves, and they even made their own dishes. Which reminds me, I know someone at LG who makes and decorates her own dishes. No way, like pottery painting? Yeah, and she's really good. We could learn more about her in today's Student Spotlight. This has been tons of fun, but now I think it's time for a little historical demonstration of our own. Coming to you from the year 2007. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, hold on. on. I'm Kat. And I'm Ashley. Stay, Stay tuned for Channel, Channel 1 News. News. Talent show auditions are coming up. Eighth graders, this is your last year to show LGMS what you've got, so be sure to audition. Ashley and I will definitely be auditioning. We just don't know what we're doing yet. We could try singing. Have you heard your voice? Just kidding, just kidding. 
No, really. She's tone deaf. Fine, then. How about dancing? <gasps> Do you remember that routine we learned last summer? Yes! Okay, okay here we go. And two! Oh, and six! Three, and two! Yeah! One and seven, seven. Eight. Eight. That's right. not working. Uh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about comedians? I've got the perfect joke for you. Ready? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? I. I who? I've got no talent. That wasn't funny. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <gasps> oh, we can be mimes. Like, you know, those people in the box. Ooh, that clown school has definitely paid off now. What? Uh, nothing. Okay. All right, let's try. We'll okay. do a mirror act. Okay. So stand back a little bit. All right. Okay. okay. We can and, do this. All right. Now. <laughs> Down. You're doing Left. it wrong. Mines don't talk. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Left, you're, you're okay, other left. Right, left. My oh, left. This isn't working. Um, oh, we could do yoga, a perfect yoga demonstration. Yoga? Yeah, you remember all those special moves we learned? Oh yeah, like standing on our heads. True, so true. Well, let us go get set up and you go to today's 411. Wow. This is kind of fun. I could do it for hours. Oh wait, blood rushing to my head. Ow. What are you guys doing? Why is the camera um, upside um, down? No, 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 no. Okay, so maybe we can't stand on our heads. But we still are looking for our perfect talent. So if you have any suggestions, email us at thesharkzone at yahoo.com. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. See, See you at auditions. auditions. Good morning, Lake Gibson. Today is the fifth anniversary of September 11th. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. On today's show, we will be reviewing the students' opinions on a stairwell left at Ground Zero. Plus, we will be talking to the 3D team. And learning all about reading in the arts competition. Ashley, did you get to go to the presentation with the 3D team yesterday? Yeah, I did. It was very inspiring. They had a lot to tell our students about being bullied and bullying other people. You know, our very own Cortland Doherty got to sit down with them and learn a little bit more about what they do. Thanks, Megan, for the information on the Reading in the Arts contest. That about wraps up today's edition of TSC News. But be sure you stop and think today to remember exactly what happened on September 11th and how our nation formed as one. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. Don't touch that dial. Because Channel 1 News is coming up next. This should be fun. It's a little chilly though. It's supposed to be chilly. I knew that. Hey look, ice skates. Yep, we're going to need those. I'll go get some. That was Ashley and I'm Kat. We're here at the Lakeland Civic Center for Skate in the Holidays. While we put on our skates, why don't you go look at today's sponsors. Got them. All right, Ashley, let's go. OK, skating, yay, let's do this. Let's. I can't do this. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't skate. It's easy, I'll show you. Come on. Okay. Just hear those bells This just isn't working. I just can't seem to get the hang of this. Well, don't give up. While she's moping, I think it's time for the 411. I'm not moping. See, I'm smiling. Figure skating is a really cool sport. It looks like a lot of hard work to me. I like just skating in my own world. Yeah. Looks like everyone else is having a lot of fun, too. All right, LGMS, I don't know about you, but I want to do a little ice skating. This is Kat. And I'm Ashley. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Good morning, Lake Gibson. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. On today's show, we will be discussing gossip and its effects on young teens. But first, let's go to today's sponsors. I can't believe you said that. I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You very well know that you told Robbie, who told Ginger, who told Danny, who told Sue, who told Taylor to tell Megan, to tell me that you were talking about me. Uh, who's Robbie? Don't act like you don't know. I can't be friends with a liar like you. Fine. That was just a demonstration of some of the things gossip can do. It can tear apart even the closest of friendships. Today we've learned all about the effects of gossip. So before you're about to talk about your friend, think before you speak. 
That wraps it up for today's show. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. Stay tuned for Channel One News. Happy birthday to you. No, no, stop singing. Why? You're making a scene. Today is your birthday, though. Yeah, my birthday, not the world's birthday. But everyone needs to know. No, everyone needs to know about today's sponsors. In today's edition of the Shark Zone, we will be giving you tips on how to throw the perfect birthday party. First things first, you have to have a good party location. You can go to a theme park, the bowling alley, or even throw a killer party in your own backyard. Now if you are having a party at your house, you need to choose a theme. For demonstrational purposes, we will be using a Barbie theme. We? You mean you. Well, it's my party, and I'll have a Barbie theme if I want to. It's your birthday. After you've chosen your theme and party location, you need to start thinking about games and food. In honor of baking, we will be having a Cake Off Bake Off. May the best baker win. Really yummy, Ashley. I tell you what, it's just so delish. Oh! <laughs> While we're getting cleaned up, why don't we go to Sarah Duncan, who has some great party activities. That don't involve cake. Come on, we gotta get cleaned up. Thanks for tuning in to today's party planning edition of the Shark Zone. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat, wishing all of the other January 12th birthdays a happy birthday and a great party. Stay tuned for Channel One News. Where are we going? On an adventure. An adventure where? You'll see. Um, I'm not sure I like the sound of this. I don't even know where we are. It's fine, Ashley. Chill out. Love a little. All right, we're here. You mean I actually made it alive? Yeah. I'm Kat, and she's freaking out. And I'm Ashley, and we actually made it alive. <laughs> but wait, where'd we make it alive to? You'll find out right after today's sponsors. Hey, Ashley. Yeah? Did you hang those coats on that grave? No. I didn't do it. Maybe we should put them on. Huh, <sighs> maybe we shouldn't. Let's go, let's go. No. Hey, Kat? Yeah, what's up? Where'd you put the golf cart? Right there, where mm -hmm. it is. No, it's, it's, it, not, it's there. not It's not there? It's, it's, it's not, not there. there. Ha. Oh! <laughs> it's hopeless, they're mad at us. Who's mad at us? Them. The days of the dead are over and they're still around. Oh, you know, there's the after party. Did you do anything at the celebration to make them mad? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, another note. Oh, no, not another code. No, it says, look up. I don't see anything. What are we looking for? Maybe a bird. Oh. Oh. What was that? I don't know, but Ugh, we've been tricked. Great. Um, dress forward, it says. Dress up. Wear a dress and walk forward. <gasps> Fashion forward. Hey, like Gibson, today is Friday the 13th. Wait, Friday the 13th? Yeah, I'm Ashley. And I'm Kat. Friday the 13th. Of course. Let's just go to sponsors. And what's so big about Friday the 13th? <laughs> and what if you walk under a ladder? You know how much bad luck that gives you? I mean, what if the ladder falls on you as you're walking under it? None of that's going to happen. <laughs> you don't believe in superstitions? Of course not. Whatever. Oh. <gasps> Do you realize what just happened? Yeah, I broke a mirror. Good one at that. Uh, yeah, seven years bad luck's more like it. Would you stop with the superstition nonsense? No, I won't stop. You just got yourself seven years bad luck. I've got to go. Cat, we have a show to do. Fine. I'll do it for the show. But after that, I'm out. Yeah. Well, you're not the only one who believes in superstitions, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I know that. And there are a lot of kids around LG who probably have a few ideas of their own. Oh, oh. This is what I get for hanging out with you. Don't blame it on me. You're the one with the bad luck here. <sighs> Do it for the show. Come on. Look, a black cat. <laughs> get that thing away from me. But it's so cute. <laughs> it's a black cat. Black cats aren't cute. Uh, yeah, they are. Besides, it's a stuffed one. I have bad luck, 
Ashley. Bad luck, Ashley. Let's go to lunch. Look at the oligarch line. <laughs> Looks like we're getting regular lunch. <gasps> Don't open that in here. <sighs> Not any more superstition nonsense. Not any more bad luck. Well, if I don't, we're going to get rained on. Excuses, excuses. Speaking of the weather, why don't we go check out our weekend weather forecast?